So today I'm going to explain a little something about Belgian Malinois. You always hear all these things about, do you really want a Belgian Malinois? This is my seven month old female. This is my little over a year male. Both Belgian Malinois, both pure breed, non-papered and all that other stuff, blah, 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 because I don't need papers to have a dog. So, the fun thing about Belgians is they'll do almost anything for a ball, a treat, a rope, a tug, anything. Like this, monkey, go left. Monkey, go left. Nope, you went left, all right, but you went out the screen. Go left. Good boy. Messy King, go right. Nope, go right. She's still in training and she doesn't quite get a lot of stuff. Go right. Good girl. And then we have the old man who just doesn't do anything but, well, see, he doesn't even want the treat. So the reason we're talking about Belgians is because they are a very smart breed. Sit. Good. Plutz. Good. Yes. Yes. And that's the fun part. You can get them to do almost anything you want. They have no fear of anything. They uh, trust you with their life, which is really cool. And I trust them with my life because they're very good dogs. Very special to me. But there's this one problem that people tell you about all the time, but you never really actually get to see, which is the destruction of what Belgian Malinois really can do. And I'm going to take you through and show you a couple of things that uh, Belgians are really, really good for doing when you're stupid and you leave them alone for too long. So, if we go into my front room here, we'll see this little hole. And it's not little, it's big, and it's brand new carpet. Check that out. All the way down to the sub. Mat's gone, carpet's gone. Leave it. Then we go into my bedroom. And underneath the bed, there is more destruction. All the way to the sub. Big hole. Ruined. Brand new carpet. Gone. So, we go back into my front room, and you'll kind of notice how the carpet kind of looks kind of weird and funny and stuff, because, you know, there's another hole right there. Well, with the dogs being left in the house for four hours, no supervision, and... The big mistake of not burning off their energy before going to work or going out or going to the store or going outside just to move the garbage can which that isn't true just leaving them alone in the house for over an hour is a mistake this is what happens when you leave belgian melon laws in the house for four hours by themselves this carpet had been ripped completely back. The matting completely gone. Brand new carpet, brand new flooring. <clears throat> so, you're asking yourself, why do you still have those dogs? Why didn't you get rid of them? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Well, because I love my dogs and I knew better and my mistake is what's going to cost me. And this is what it's like. This is calm. They play. I let them play. I give them free range of my acre lot. But yet you leave them cooped up for any length of time for more than an hour. You have destruction. And it's expensive destruction. They're great dogs. 
I don't think I would ever go to any other type of dog. But to be honest, if I can give one person <laughs> one chance of saving their house, I'm telling you now, if you do not have the time or the discipline or the energy to keep up with these dogs at all times, you better not get one. You hear the stories of, hey, you really think you want this dog and they just tell you about the destruction? No, these dogs are destructive. They will rip stuff up. It doesn't matter if it's a bottle cap. It doesn't matter if it's your house cat. <laughs> they can be destructive when they are, well, bored. Pretty much it. If they're not active and doing something, they're bored. Check that out. Huh? Wants to go outside. So, if you ever want a Belgian Malinois, really, really think about it. And then look at this video to remind yourself of why you may not want a Belgian Malinois. Because they are ornery. They are full of energy. And they can be a joy. At the same time, they're a terror. So, think twice. Think three times. Do essential background checks of this type of dog. Not only the history of the dog, not only all the special training and the cool stunts and all the military and police stuff that these dogs do, because these dogs are awesome until they're not anymore. What I showed you in the destruction of this is not awesome. This is expensive. And it was stupid. And it's my fault. It's not bad training. It's not that they're bad dogs. It was just a bad mistake of leaving these two unattended for four hours in a house with brand new carpet. Sit. 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 See? They want this. Sit. Well, that'll work. Go right. Go right. Go left. Back up. Back. Talk. Good. See? You can have fun with them, but at the same time, it's going to be destructive. <laughs> Good luck in your choices of what type of breed of dog you want. But if you want a Belgium, you better look at this video over and over and over again. Because all it takes is one stupid mistake of leaving your dog unattended. And you're in trouble. So good luck. Enjoy your dogs. And please, if you're going to negative comment about my dogs, just skip over it. Because they're great dogs. And yeah, you might have done something vicious and mean to your dogs because they did something stupid like this, but I won't. I love my dogs. So, enjoy your day. Really make sure what you're looking for when you get a dog because these two are the devil. <laughs>